not going to get as much done as I thought it was. cut up that other tree before we were doing YouTube videos. Hmm. Remember we were all packed out and then we went and cut up that other tree down oh, the road. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. And then we came back. This is that tree. Okay. When we first brought it home, it did not split at all. I didn't think this would happen actually. The balls and axes would literally bounce right out of it no matter how sharp it would just bounce and that's why I thought we we're gonna have to come out here with the uh, chainsaw today but it's dried out a heck of a time now when uh, wood is nice and straight grain it splits really nicely and easily like that it's nasty wide oak though I mean, this is probably down low in the trunk, so... It is, because that's at the very bottom. Yeah. I can yeah, see you're the right. wedge. Well, yeah, that's true, huh? You're right. I didn't cut this tree down, though. That was utility right-of-way that did that. This should be relatively straight grain. There's a knot over here. There's that flick, or fleck, that Buckin says. And let me tell you, I'm all for wooden handles, totally. But there becomes a point when you get into some nasty stuff and uh, man, it is nice to have a handle that you can wail on and bust up. I mean, this thing's old. I'm not gonna be sad if it gets hit. I mean, I can even take this and beat on it out of a wedge. Um, and uh, so, I mean, there, there's a place for every tool, right? I love my wooden handle tools, that's for sure. They're, they're really nice, they feel good. But again, I'm thankful right now. When you're tired, when you're trying to get the job done, and or you're banging steel wedges, I'm not gonna do that with a wooden handle. Also, if you're learning, Uh, we're probably in over 100 degree heat index, but there's been a breeze, we're in the shade, it's kind of nice. I need to get out here more, everybody, it's good for me. I've kind of mentioned it numerous times, I'm out of shape. Mark, you're talking about a a pick a rune or a hook a rune. Here's that wood chuck I was talking about. Aluminum handle, replaceable end. So similar to design in that uh, Fiskars, with the exception that you can replace this. I actually have two of these. The other one has a design 
where it had like a rubber coated um, cable and that's what these hooks are for but essentially the idea was was to lasso around brush and then it pulled out of here and it kind of tightened up um, I've disassembled that because I found that I simply didn't use it for that function um, my branches oftentimes are not it's just not worth dragging a bunch of branches like that I can oftentimes just throw the branches on one another and just pull one of them and achieve the same thing so the device was heavier so what I've done is I just converted it to being essentially identical to this so anyway I have two of these and they work fairly well this is what I pick up the firewood with um, out, or I, I get it out of the back of the truck um, you know I can stab stuff and on the side or on the top or whatever and not bend over as much so anyway good tool haven't really shown it on the channel but I use this consistently and this is a real wood chuck brand main USA guys there's knockoffs out there um, I accidentally purchased a knockoff wood chuck can't hook and it's not anywhere near the quality of uh, what it should be I mean the the steels real mild in it and it bent um, the, the little um, c-shaped thing get bent on it um, this is this has actually kind of got a little bit of a def deformation in it but let me tell you this thing has beat a lot I mean I've moved a lot of firewood with this guys uh hopefully you've enjoyed the last few videos I've come out with um, I really tried to um, do better on editing try to get better content out there I know that sometimes there's some um, repeats in terms of the content but oftentimes it's a different angle different perspective because like for example i have that video where i fell the three trees and then um and then i didn't really show uh limbing them well um i started i was gonna originally just do that all in one one episode but then i found out that the video was gonna be too long and um the reality is is people don't want to necessarily sit for 30 minutes and watch a video that's just all that's to it. I found that, you know, it seems like 12 to 16 minutes is like, that's the best you're going to get. Like someone wanting to watch because otherwise it's hard. It's hard to keep uh, everyone's attention span for that. And so guys, if you're uh, watching to this part of the video, if you are um, someone that watches continually uh, to the end or almost all the way to the end, I really do appreciate you. I thank you because uh, um, not everybody does that. And, uh, you know, so often um, we want to be like entertained. We want to see the hot, juicy stuff real quick and move on to the next thing, right? I mean, that's how, that's how this stuff is designed to, uh, you know, keep your attention. You know, it's hard, it's hard to keep people's attention for 30 minutes um, unless you have a extreme talent for editing, for composition, and for all that. Even right now, some of you are probably, your eyes might be rolling back in your head like, man, Oki's talking again. But the reality is, is uh, um, I just want to share this with you. And, and I, I think all of you, we're getting close to, uh, I think we're getting close to 3,500 subscribers. Yeah, about 3,500. Um, and uh, that's awesome. So I thank you all. And uh, thanks for thanks for the support and success. And, and um Guys, we're, we're making slow progress, but we're making progress. And, um, and I've got some other content ideas. I'm trying to figure out how to work out the cameras and the, and the audio because it's a really big deal. Um, it, it, you can't just, like, record a video. Like, I have some stuff I want to do indoors, but it echoes too much. I can't, I can't do it. And, um, and then so I've got to figure out that stuff. I appreciate and covet all of your guys' uh, comments and interactions. And uh, really cool, I got to meet, meet that one subscriber. If you haven't watched that one Echo video, a uh, um, little bit clickbaity, the saw looks yellow on it, but I gotta get your attention because uh, there is almost, it's really hard to get people to click on your stuff. You know, they can, YouTube will show videos to 100 people and, um, and maybe, you know, 5%. So five people out of 100 click on it because, you know, when you have all that choice, you're gonna click on, you know, maybe your favorite guys or the guys, you know, that do better stuff like Buck and Billy Ray or, you know, um, just all those guys. I mean, there, there's there's guys that are really talented that have a large following that can keep your attention forever or, or that can teach your keep your attention for a lot longer. Um, and so, again, to, you know, get 
you know, five out of and when YouTube shows it a hundred times and I get five clicks, um, that's actually pretty good. I mean, when I can get to like 8%, that's awesome. 8% is pretty good, but sometimes it's down at like 3%. So, um, again, thank you so much for being here and, and, um, I'm excited to see where we go and what we do. And, um, and I want you all to be a part of it. I definitely am thankful for you. So again, thank you. Have a good one.